So let's take a quick look at logic. I'm sure all of you have heard about logic, right? And I've already been told that you guys don't have to take logic for computer science. Yay! I have to say, I loved that class, but boy, was it a pain. Very detail-oriented. All right, so why study logic? Because logic has been around for a really long time. All right, why study logic? Well, a lot of basic ideas about representation and computation actually come from the study of logic, right? It's a, considered to be really central to the work on reasoning and what we know and understand about reasoning. And it has substantial representation power. So if you go through that explanatory pattern, it can really represent a lot of what's going on quite well. As I mentioned, it's old, right? Like 2,000 years old. Aristotle really liked logic. Right? So it's really been around quite for, for quite a period of time, for several millennia. Now, what Aristotle did was he studied patterns of interest. He called them syllogisms. At least I'm close to pronouncing it correctly this time, I think. And so when we look at logic, what we're doing is we are looking at these patterns. So here's an example of logic. All students are overworked. Mary is a student, therefore Mary is overworked. It's logical, right? You can see where one goes to the next, and you put those together, and you have your conclusion. Let's do a, let me see, do we have time to this for this? No, we actually don't. OK, don't look at that. What we'll do is, when we come back on Tuesday, I'm going to put you through a task so we can look at how logical logic is. All right, so have a great, great weekend.